Hey, Miles here at Tactical Hive, and it's another Sunday. That means another video about competition shooting. With me, I have a special guest, John Batista. He's uh, one of the uh, local GMs I've been training with. Grandmaster, for those of you who are not aware of the USPSA classifications in carry optics and production. He's been helping me a lot with my own progression. And we're just finishing up here at the range, um, uh, range day here. As you can guys see, we've been doing a lot of things. And uh, what we want to talk about, we know that a lot of people want to get into sport. And so John thought, you know, a good topic would be safety. Uh, we mentioned this in one of the first videos we put out, but we never really dove into the details. So this video is gonna help you with some specifics that John has been gracious enough to share with you guys. Hi everyone, John Batista, a local grandmaster here in San Diego, California, and we are very interested to get you on the range. Some of you are very excited, afraid, there's a lot of emotions going on, but competition is an easy way to understand where your skills are and where you need to improve. So on your first day on the range, the most important thing is to understand where the layout is of your particular stage itself. And if you ever go for the first time, go ahead and talk to the range master and say, hey, I'm a first time shooter. And they'll hook you up with some good people to get you a better understanding throughout the day of what to do and not to do on your first day of competition. Looking at this particular stage, we have a particular layout of targets that are downrange, a staging area or shooting area where you'll be engaging these targets. Targets typically take two shots each and steal one. The important things to understand is where is your 180? If we take a look at the layout here, we have a particular fault line, targets downrange, and that will start the dictation of the 180 rule, where in any given area in the shooting area, you're gonna be creating a 180 line. Your muzzle must not break this 180 line. It is important to do so because there's going to be people behind you, another stage in the other direction, but understanding where your muzzle doesn't need to be is super important to have a successful first day in shooting. Another important thing to realize is where your muzzle is on the stage while you're shooting. So as an example, we just demonstrated the 180 rule. My gun is empty, so I can demonstrate to you how this actually works. So if, you're, if I'm going towards the left here, you want to make sure that the muzzle doesn't break this imaginary 180 line. So if I'm coming through, my muzzle's always pointed down range. Another key factor, which is unspoken a lot, is where your trigger finger and what your trigger finger is doing. If you are not actively engaging a target or you're performing a manipulation, such as a reload, you want to make sure your trigger finger is outside and not touching your trigger. This is very important because in case of a situation or accident, let's say for example, if you fall, or if you decide to reload and you slam it in, if your finger is on the trigger, you may accidentally light the gun off in a direction that was unsafe or unknown to you. So the main point is to make sure your trigger finger is outside of your trigger when you're moving or you're actively doing a reload. This is an example of how to be safe while moving with your gun while shooting a stage. For an example, I would have completed my engagement of these three targets that are in front of you. There's a paper target and two pieces of steel that are visual. I then now have to move to my left to engage the remaining two paper and one steel. The danger is, as we talked about with the 180, I want to make sure that my muzzle is not breaking the 180 line and keep the muzzle within 180 degrees. How do you do this? My gun is empty. If I'm finished engaging these targets, I want to make sure my muzzle is safe by either moving in this kind of direction, forcing the muzzle downrange at all times. Or as you get more advanced, you're able to pretty much point your gun still safe and not breaking the 180 in preparation for the next target. Before we show this live, let me show you an example of shooting against the grain. As a left-handed shooter, I am more prone to have a problem going from left to right. That's because my shooting hand is opposite of the direction I'm going to. And what naturally happens is my hips and shoulders are going to be naturally pointed on the 180 line. And if you're not careful with how your muzzle is going, your gun will actually naturally point against the 180. So as a left-handed guy, what I would typically do is gun empty. Again, I will kind of keep my hand, either I'll force my hand with the gun downrange like so, so I will have zero chance of breaking the 180. Or when you get more advanced, again, you're gonna be pointing somewhere before the 180 as you approach the position, and you'll engage the next target. We'll show this live both ways, so you can see what it is to shoot against the grain as we just presented, and then shooting it with the grain when there's no problem. One more thing about 
going against the grain is reloads. We talked about how your hips will naturally make you break the 180 if you're not careful. Your reloads are the same thing. So again, gun empty for demonstration. Finger is gonna be off the trigger as we mentioned before when you're doing the manipulation. If I'm reloading against the grain, what I'm going to do is make sure that my muzzle is pointed in a safe direction downrange and not close to the 180. Complete the reload. By ensuring that my muzzle is pointing downrange at all times, either you can start off the reload in between, or you can go to the position and initiate and finish the reload in a safe direction. Let's show an example of doing what not to do in a safe environment where there's no one in my immediate direction, all the camera crew is away, and again, this is in a simulated area where it's completely safe. My gun is completely empty, and I'm gonna show you what happens if you're not careful with your muzzle, going against the grain, and with the potential of breaking the 180. So typically what would happen is, in this middle section where you have the two steel and one paper, once you're done engaging the targets, most people will not have the forethought to understand where their hips are going and be pretty much square to the 180, bring that gun over, and now naturally with the way that I'm moving, my muzzle is either on the 180 line or just breaking it past it, where it's creating a dangerous situation that you want to fight against. So again, be careful with your muzzle by making sure that it's pointed not at the 180, either directly pointed downrange as best as possible, or trained at a particular position where you know it's not gonna break the 180. So let me demonstrate to you this course of fire shooting against the grain. We're gonna go live, so eyes and ears, and I'm gonna load the gun. So, shooting against the grain, I'm being sure and aware of where my muzzle is at all times to make sure I do not break this 180 line. Let's go hot. As you have saw, I was engaging my target by maintaining the muzzle, not at the 180, but pointed at a safe position, not only to first engage the target, but also engage it where my muzzle is not even close to the 180. And that's how to shoot against the grain. So let's demonstrate to you reloading against the grain. And we're gonna do this live. So, eyes and ears, let's go hot. So once I'm done engaging the last target, I will initiate the reloads in two different ways. One, moving to the next position while maintaining my muzzle safely and engaging the reload. And the second way I'll be doing it is engaging the reload while moving, and again, keeping my muzzle in a safe direction. And not to mention, as always, my finger will be off the trigger during the movement process. So that is performing the reload at the end to the next position. Let's try it while moving to the position. Let's demonstrate reloading while moving to position, maintaining my muzzle away from the 180. So again, in either situation, I was able to negotiate the stage while moving and reloading or getting to position and reloading, but still maintaining my muzzle downrange. And that's doing it against the grain. Let's demonstrate to you guys moving with your gun downrange with the grain. Now, as a left-handed shooter, since I'm moving towards my left position, naturally my hand is always gonna be pointed downrange. That's why going against the grain, being on the opposite side, there's a little bit of, there's always inherent danger of you breaking the 180. So let's demonstrate the process of shooting with the grain. And let's do it hot. So I'm gonna be moving from right to left as a left-handed shooter with my strong hand And you'll notice that naturally, my hand and gun is always pointing in the safe direction. So when I'm going through the stage itself, I'll be either pointing my gun down range or pointing it into a safe direction where it's gonna be never breaking the 180. Let's do it live. As you saw, my muzzle was always pointed in a safe direction even though it was pointing at a target because I'm shooting on my strong side. And that's shooting with the grain. 
Thanks for watching. What we just shown you are the two most important things about safety on the range. Make sure you have fun. If you follow those safety protocols that we've kind of presented to you, you're gonna have a great time. Make sure you talk to people on the range. You realize that this community is really fantastic and it's a great way to show where your skills are and where you need to improve. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know what you think. If there's anything else you wanna see or us talk about, please let us know in the comments below, and we'll see you next time.